So now that we fully understand the chain rule, product rule and quotient rule, there are some functions of x that it would be really worthwhile us knowing how to differentiate. So this will open up a whole world of um, new functions and problems for us to solve. So three of these are y is equal to e to the x, y is equal to sine x, and y is equal to cos x. And I'm not just going to look at, in, at differentiation here, I'm going to look at integration as well, okay? Just to show you kind of how these work. So we're going to start off with y is equal to e to the x. Now we've already discussed in a previous video, when we first introduced the exponential function e to the x, as to what its derivative is because we defined e to the x as the function that differentiates to itself. And so, the derivative of y is equal to e to the x is just e to the x. Okay? It's very straightforward to remember. So therefore, if y is equal to e to the x differentiates to e to the x, then the integral of e to the x is e to the x. And of course, because there's an indefinite integral, I must put a plus c for a constant of integration. And so, e to the x integrates to itself and differentiates to itself. Now let's look at sine and cons, because they're a little bit more interesting. So, why this happens for sine and cos? cosine, I'm not going to go into here, okay? It's above our pay grade to then look at the um, background as to why sine and cosine differentiate the way that they do, okay? There is a pattern for us to remember, and it works like this. Sine x differentiates to cos x, okay? Cos of x differentiates to minus sine. Now, if sine differentiates to cosine, then minus sine must differentiate to minus cosine. And if cosine differentiates to minus sine, then minus cosine must differentiate to sine. And so, this pattern keeps repeating. in both directions. And so, as I'm looking downwards, I am differentiating. So, decreasing down the list, differentiating D. Okay? And therefore, increasing up the list, I am integrating. So, So, cosine integrates to sine, sine integrates to minus cosine, and so forth. And so, it is this basic pattern here, which you just need to remember, just keeps on repeating. Okay? Sine, cosine, minus sine, minus cosine. And that will tell you how, it differentiate, how they differentiate and integrate. So, there, those are the derivatives and integrals of e to the x, sine x, and cos x. And in the next video, we're going to see how we differentiate tan x.